Nyeha, it's Melt again. Today you can call me Dramatic Melty. A rift in happiness, Melty. That's kind of a spoiler, but you don't know what it's about, so I guess it's okay. This is the last case in Ace Attorney, the, the first one out of the trilogy. Yes. This one, I feel like, feels very tonally... Mm, yeah. It's very different, because there's new people. It's very different than the first four. Uh, for better or worse, I guess. We'll, we'll get into that, yes. Um, but it is a little... as The little bit that I remember, it's a lot less lighthearted. Because there's some serious shenanigans that goes on at the beginning of this chapter. I'm very excited, but it's also kind of sad, because it's... it's uh, after the last chapter of having everything wrap up so nicely and, I don't know, everyone being happy and Maya going off to train and, I don't know, it kind of wrapped up really well, so to kind of reopen it right at the end of the game is, it's a choice, but you know, I'm not mad at it. So, you ready to get started on this last, last trial with Feeny for, for a bit at least. You ready to get started? Let's do this. Alright, episode 5, Rise from the Ashes, let's do this. Ooh! I only remember one line, and we'll get- it's gonna happen, like, right now. I'm very excited. The rest I don't remember. I don't remember what the heck this is. What is going on? A stab is- oh. Oh, 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 oh. Two stabbings. At the same time? What the heck is happening? I don't remember this animation. Well, this is fine, but- Who is this? You do not know. I actually don't remember her name, so it's fine. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. Part of me wonders, like, well, actually, never mind. I won't say anything. It's too early to say something. February 22nd, 10.02 a.m. Right in Cola offices. How is Chelsea? Ch not Chelsea. Gosh. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. Well, you don't have to work now, Feeny? You're so rich, you don't need to work anymore? What the heck? There you are, finally. Where have you been? So, here's my question. No, it's too early. I have to hold off on my, my spiel. My sister's trial is tomorrow! Um... Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are! The famous defense attorney, Mia Faye! We look like a Mia? I like her hair. <gasps> I forgot she looked like this. Oh, uh, you're not Mia Faye, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey is no longer... works here. So you are... Coffee Boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. I was a coffee girl. Well, I actually also worked at the place, but... I took it upon myself to make coffee for everyone. I felt like people didn't like me at the office, because... I actually worked, and they didn't, and I got them in trouble. But anyway, this is a long story. <laughs> Let's not go there. Right, right. Wait! You're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's relief, Ben. You better, you're better than nobody. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. I, I guess you'd make so much money after a case that you could take, is this kind of like working in the entertainment business? Where, you get on like a shoot for a movie or a shoot for a show, you work like a dog, you work like 20 hours a week for like four months, and then you make a ton of money and then you're off until you find another gig. I can't live like this, but maybe? I don't know how lawyers are. My impression is it's not like that though. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. Is she a high school student? This bow and a... I don't- I don't remember really anything about her except for her name. And something else. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time. 
She really has mannerisms and looks like Maya, though, right? I think that's a fair thing to say. Like, uh, the little bun hair, which I like. This, like, downtrodden face. The, like, <gasps> face. A lot of her face poles and those kind of things are very similar to Maya. And trying to help her sister. Little sister. Thing like that. But, please, you have to help. It's my sister. Yeah, see? What did I just say? Because how many girls wear their hair like this? Maybe I should wear my hair like this. Maya, could it be? Okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name's Emma, Emma Skye. I'm a scientific investigator. This is all I remember about Emma. <laughs> Just that. I didn't even remember her last name. Scientific investigator. She looks like she's in high school. The, without the lab coat, it looked like a high school outfit or something, right? What up, Emma? Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of um, jumpy or maybe just young. Young. Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Why do we always have teenage helpers? <laughs> oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm said to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known. At my age, no less. So, what exactly is your current position, then? Well, legally speaking... I like this pose. It's cute. I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. Okay. But I'm ready to do my job. At my age, no less. This- I learned- Literally, I learned things from this girl. When I was young. I wasn't 16, I was a little older, but I was still young. Great, another future professional in training. So, I think it's fair to say this now. Was, I don't, I don't, I don't know the lore of the Phoenix Wright saga of how it was created and stuff. But part of me wonders, like, they said they were going to bring Maya back, though. She said she'd come back. But then why do you have this interim one? The line hasn't happened yet that I know is going to happen sometime. But doesn't this feel sort of weird? Like, objectively kind of weird? To have this add-on chapter, and then Maya's not there, and it's this new girl, and like, who is she? And it just feels sort of funky, right? So what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow. My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? So you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, then? Excuse me? I'm not a child. I'll have you know. So it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't fault her on her for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister. I've been doing research, you know? I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. Oh, wow. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. I guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. No, we have one more. What are her buttons? The face... Which I feel like comes back. I think I know how it comes back. My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person, a few years ago, was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever need a defense attorney. And well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Hmm? Well... Actually, when she gets like she is now, I kinda hate her. Huh? But... but she's my only family. What is this? Anna and Elsa? What is happening? I actually think it is, because I remember her sister a little bit, and her personality is... Kind of Elsa-y, I suppose. Your only family? What about your parents? 
He died in a car accident when I was little. I mean, boat accident. It's just that was in the olden days. I feel like it's the same thing. This is a, kind of the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry. What are these buttons? There's the like, ooh, and then there's what? These two pandas? What are those? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So now we have a little friend. Emma! February 22nd, detention center. Wait, oh, isn't this the Nya Nya day? It's February 22nd, the like, cat day in Japan? Whatever. Hmm, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. S so sorry, ma'am. It's just a it's it's sister. That was a little too, too stuttery. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise this year? Hmm. Uh, understood, ma'am. What was that all about? Hi, Lana. Lana! Lana! I couldn't remember her name. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? Look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that my right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard- this is a look. This is a look, honey. I like this little red scarf and this, I don't know, like, fancy military jacket where- I don't know. She feels like she should be in a plane. Leading a pl pack of planes. <laughs> Mia mentioned you, I heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? Plane woman. My name is Lana, Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Your prosecutor? Man, all these prosecutors ended up in jail, girl. Look how cool she is. She's cool, right? Miss Lana, two sisters, one lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana. I mean, they're just like... They do have the vibe, right? The vibe is the same. Is something wrong, Mr. Ray? Lana is very pretty, right? She's so pretty. Um, hello. There's something you should know from the start. Which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect, the suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? I really don't remember this case at all. I really have no memory of this case at all. Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? Oh, I can't say that yet. You'll see. The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. It was the witness's deposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. Ooh, I remember investigating the parking lot. I don't know why. I remember that. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. So who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. Ugh. By you? Death wasn't imminent, but it, the wound was fatal. Immediate. Sorry. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What? Mr. Wright, what does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means in their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. So you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handed by prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. It's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? Well, she has something on her hand. 
Bandage! In fact, it seems it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident when I stabbed him, that is. How'd you manage that? Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in a class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? Um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, didn't she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here for the, from his office. Although it seems he has a very little common with Mia. Hey, it was law school. I was in my third year, she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Excuse me? Intellectually attracted? Lana was top of her class in school. I don't know, I smell a ship. I smell a ship coming. I was the best- I have no memory of this though. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright, excuse me. As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can make this case. None. Who is she protecting? Because we know something I feel like I'm pretty sure. All the people we defend, they're actually innocent. Because otherwise we'd be like fighting for evil and that's not the Phoenix Wright way, right? He, she didn't do it. We know she didn't do it. That's just the name of the game. So she didn't do it. Who? Why is she pretending like she did and who is she covering for? Maybe she was the one who was supposed to be stabbed and that's why she got a little stabby stab on her hand? But who is she taking the fall for? It feels like that kind of situation, right? That's just me. But Lana... Why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. <laughs> you know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. Or I know you didn't do it, sorry. So, so how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I, I hate you, Lana. When you're 16, I don't know how it works in Japan. Mr. Wright. Yes, I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Can you become like an emancipated kid? I don't know what they're called. At like 16, if you don't have any family that would take care of you? I don't know how that works. Or would she have to go into like foster care for two years? Because that could suck. I don't know how it is in Japan, but in America, it's, it's uh, not a good time. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes, but something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here, and I'm going to find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know? I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having a trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Well, maybe not. So that there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Oh, okay! Hold on. Charlie. How you doing, Charlie? Mia's plant Charlie. I've been taking care of him in Maya's absence. That's what we'd like to see. Okay. Oh, let's go then. I thought maybe she'd have something to say. She did not. I remember I remember this this uh, parking structure because it's so, like, what the hell parking structure? This looks like an escape room. Like, what's going? There's so much going on. Prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. So this is the lot where it all happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey, everyone, keep up the good work. Hey, what are you thinking? 
Well, they are going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes? I'm trying not to stand out too much here, see? Hey there! You're expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? Partner? <gasps> this one! I forgot about this man! You know, like, some some of these characters I remember, but I don't remember when and where and how and who and... You know? What do we have here? Looks like a bambina. Got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. Mr. Marshall! Oh god. Marshall looks more like a sheriff to me. Stop putting your beard hair all over the place. That's nasty. Don't do that. Look here, Bambina. I know how you feel. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? Can you imagine if America was like this? Or like people cosplayed 24-7? Being like a cute scientist whiz kid. And then like a cowboy man. And like a spiky haired lawyer dude. I think I would like a world like this. I don't know what I would want to be, but I like the extreme cartooniness of everyone. I think that would be enjoyable in real life. Or maybe really annoying. Pr probably both. <laughs> this is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. If you're fixing to mess with what's ours. Oh. You'll regret it, partner. You know what dreams the cacti. You know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? They dream for more water and friends? What's this guy talking about? Ooh, I didn't like the way that looked. That was gross. <laughs> I don't know why. That was like weirdly disgusting to me. It was just him drinking, but the throat thing was like, ugh. Okay, just me? I don't know. You head along home now. Happy trails, Bambina. Was that a hombre, a friend of yours? Uh, kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems. There's so much here. Let's start with this thing on the floor. What's this? A wallet? Um, excuse me, officer? Wait! What are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is really basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about it. Please, just put it in your pocket. How is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. What's inside? I'm called to duty already at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the Oh, that's new for this, huh? By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now look at the court record. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it's doing it for me. Just kidding. Okay, I like this and I hate this. Because this is where I got into trouble that one time. The, the, the thing we talked about last time. I got stuck. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now, let's start examining from every angle. Oh, God. Uh, H. N. How do we open it? <laughs> uh, E is zoom in. And J is zoom out. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, look! I think there might be a clue here. You should check it out with the press of enter. Okay, open it. There we go. This, this is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID 584-2189. See, well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess. I, though I don't see what science has to do with it. When I open my wallet, I'm going to say it's scientific investigation. Okay, got it. I feel like that ID number is going to come into a play later. Why is there some random number? Let's just try to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. Just doesn't this just feel sort of like a weird timing? I'm not trying to be nitpicky. I don't mind. But 
This is the last chapter of a game. Do you think it was sold the first four and then it did well and then the copy that I got had the, this... Or was it always packaged like this? It just feels sort of weird, right? This is where the cars leave the lot. The air on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plenty an exit. Well, maybe it's both. Kind of dual purpose? Aha! A theory of relativity. What? Uh, I've got to write this down. Hey, hey, Mr. Wright! Maybe you know, was Mr. Relativity German? Or was he British? Mr. Relativity? Are you sure that was his name? Okay, uh... Uh... Like, what is... There's, there's so much. A door! This must mean something. <laughs> I'm not sure the doors mean anything. No, it won't open. A mysterious lock. I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. <laughs> Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Because, like, the other thing, too, I guess it's in a different dis pre precinct area, whatever. Like, where's Gumshoe? You know what I'm saying? Maybe he'll pop in. I don't know, though. A ladder! Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? It's in scientific terms, please. Scientific, huh? What's the difference between a ladder and a step ladder? Step ladder come out like this? <clears throat> Regular ladder, it's just one long pole? I don't know. Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Rank. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. Okay, phone. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. We don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears. No, my ears. Maybe it's due to barom barometric pressure. What is she babbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. This wall is in our way. Got a faucet for water. Like, what kind of parking structure? Wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade hiding the truth. This is no wall, but a water tank. I don't see how it makes any difference either way. Why is there a water tank? An oil drum. Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy. I can't even budge it. The drum over here is on its side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in here and do a stakeout. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious. Can we? Oh, we can slide. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh. We don't have these kind in America. For sure. I mean, well, for probably. I've never encountered one in Los Angeles, at least. This, the, this kind of car port thing. Do other countries have it? I don't know. Japan is very into this kind of thing. They, they need to be. Uh, okay, so. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunted for clues. I wonder what this is. Well, partner. Looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. The sheriff. Like I said before, this here's our claim. You best be moseying along. Unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. Gah, scary. C could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Okay, it was less scary this time. I don't know, I don't know why it creeped me out before. Well, well, the little filly's got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides that red Mustang into the body and... With the body in her saddle, eh? Please! No problem, partner. About time for vittles, vi vi anyway. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. I just find you a cerveza. Cerveza. You like. I don't know what this means, but I've heard the word. Prospector's office. Where does this guy think he is, and when, for that matter? No, to self. Look up Vittles Saloon Cerveza. Cerveza is a drink? Oh my gosh, now this is gonna drive me crazy. I know things. Not really, but I know this word. I just don't know it. Cerveza. What is it? Google, what does Cerveza mean? Tell me. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the high prosecutor's office. Beer! I knew it was a drink. I'm probably saying it terrible. Cerveza. I don't, it was really quiet. I don't know if you could hear it, but this, it's fine. Okay, well, we learned something today. Cerveza is beer. 
In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like. Just keep your paws off our plane. Right. Great. Great! Maybe there's some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out! Excuse me? Were you two all set? Us? <gasps> Takoyaki lady! Right? Didn't she have Takoyaki? She's- I remember- I remember her. I remember her. I remember her. I remember her. I mean, I didn't until this moment in time, but now I remember her. What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches? Here? This is a crime scene! Oh, it wasn't Takoyaki. This is quite the outfit for selling lunches. She looks like she's... I don't know where she's going. But you gotta like that little... Uh, what is it called? Those like... You make the octopus out of a hot dog... <laughs> necklace? Onigiri hat? Hello, half and half, was it? Oh, um, thanks. And you, sir? Yes? Crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passersby. Oh, are you officers? Uh, no, but you... You don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days as cough-up queen are over. The cough-up queen? That sounds gross. Oh, maybe like coughing up cash. Like cough it up, not like coughing up a hairball. Cough up, huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. The packaging is cute though. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. Would she flip her hair, one side of her face, one eye is sweet, one eye is spicy? I like it. <laughs> what? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. That's her. You mean you're the witness? My sister was talking about? Please, cough up queen, tell us what happened. The name's Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it. I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Yes, ma'am. Yipes, she means it. Okay, you're interesting. The jacket is awful. Can we objectively say this jacket is god-awful? I'm not against, like, a faux fur floofy jacket, but why is it white and, like, light green? Not into it. There's a lot going on with this outfit. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Salmon sounds good. Destiny was yesterday some was yesterday special for some reason. I feel like whatever. I feel like we're missing a lot of like where's all our friends? Everything's new and weird. Right? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know them. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. Evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no qualms about blackening the names of the innocent. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave it a word for king of prosecutors. What a farce. So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young miss, mock me at your own risk. You'll soon fi out, find out why they call me the cough-up queen. Ew! <laughs> the most heinous of all the evil ones. The one they warded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. Really? Really what? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear, this lunch lady had a thing against prosecutors. So what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? 
It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so. Hmm. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Hmm, of course. It's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now why would this pretty lunch lady know the pro chief prosecutor's name? She hates prosecutors. Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the Block's lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? No. Only true connoisseurs can understand. Ooh. The kind you, who you can only tell someone who has tried General Tso's Tribal Bite at lunch that I cannot read these. Uh, never mind, you win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a Tribal Bite's flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? Is the security room over there? The glass-walled booth? I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So to scientifically an analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not... Do you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Ha! Huh, perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they are, they get the worse they smell. Kind of like a ten-day-old clams in the chowder. Ooh. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure case of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now that you're talking cough up, Queen... I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. This woman is very weird, right? There's some weirdness going on. Is there anything else to look at before... Oh, what is this? Oh, I guess we don't care. Can we slide? We cannot slide anymore. Uh, so I guess let's go. Oh! I haven't seen this office in so long. It's making me feel all sorts of feels. Oh, man. February 22nd, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. I have not seen this in so long. Oh, my God. It's killing me. This is kind of, this kind of room just, that just screams, I could do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look, there's a trophy or something here. Trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever's office is this, they must have a real they must be a real stuck up jerk. Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice It's our boy! It's our boy <laughs> Long time no see, Edgeworth. I love your office, it's so cute in here. Oh, I oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the details when we examine, because I'm sure we're going to examine, but we're not going to do it right now. I'm very excited to be here. Huh? Ah! Mr. Edgeworth! Hmm? You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course, I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once, and... Right, her sister is a chief prosecutor, after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. No, did I? No! I was just... Mr. Right here, he... Hey, don't blame me. We were just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. 
Mm hmm. That would be my car. What of it? What is this new facial expression? What is this new facial expression? Also, I can't imagine Edgeworth having a, a bright red sports car. Maybe it's just a rich person thing. I feel like it would be more of a maroon, you know? What is his face? He looks so... I don't know. What? Y your car? I'll say one thing, she certainly can scream. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Edgy. Hold on, I want to look at everything. Let's start with this. My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. He has a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. We know. It's our friend. And beside it, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place, Wendy. Wendy? Is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? Uh, I don't think so. Let's look at this tea set. It looks so nice. Oh, cute! What a pretty tea set! I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Ooh. Look at this royal blend. What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. No, 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 no. Don't be, don't be hating on it. Don't be hating on Edgeworth for his tea. A work desk. It's quite tidy as one might expect. It's very pretty. What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes polished so well I can see my own reflection. Strange, why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't, he'll sue you. Oh, we have to look at this. Wow, this jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right. I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure here there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. You know, he is here. I guess the game's acting like he's not. Um, let's look at all these. Whoa, these are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. I like the ladder. I hope it's one of those spinny ones where you can jump on it and then it goes chum. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. <laughs> Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? He must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. So the reason he thought of Gumshoe when the it, the desk was so shiny is that Gumshoe probably cleaned a desk for him. Because it seems like this is the case, Nay. Nee. It's not that high, though. Would he get scared? Edgeworth seems like a type to get scared easily. That's part of his charm, Nay. Nee. Hey, a chessboard. I'm not too up on my chess, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. Red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of you! Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. That's hilarious. That is actually what I thought of, though. It was like, they're all red and then there was one blue one. That's cute. I guess then maroon, red, I don't know. It just seems like red sports cars are so flashy. And he's not really flashy, is he? He's just kind of fancy. I don't know, I think there's a difference. I love this couch. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Prosecutor. Huh? What was that? The king of prosecutors trophy. K king of prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send the shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? 
So that K, that's... K stands for king. Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. Why is he getting all... King of prosecutors, kind of like employee of the month, only better. Okay. Mr. Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. Then he pours over his case files here until the wee hours of the morning. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. <laughs> I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth working. Yeah, yeah, that's why we get along, Nick. I bet in the morning he has soft hair and little creases on his cheek from the sea. He's so cool! Sofa hair is cool. Sofa hair is cool when it's Edgeworth. If it's Feeny, we don't care. <laughs> Alright, what do you got to say? We looked around your cute office. What's up, Edgy? So the body was found in your car. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? Have we, like, not made any progress in our relationship with him? Are we really like this still? He looks totally different with this face. His nose is more like, up. Oh, it's cute. He looks more like a sneaky snake. After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean... Wait. So you're Chief Prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir, I'm a sky. It, uh, it's nice to meet you again. Now, that didn't sound forced at all. Uh, now I remember. You've, uh, really grown. I'll admit I was a surprise for me, too, to think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. It's unfortunate, meh. Nah. More surprising still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. Ooh, that's awful, right? I can understand- wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. That's awkward. Oh, so we get to do it with Edgy. That's nice. You, Mr. Edgeworth. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors? Rumors? You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? People are being mean to Edgy? People are bullying Edgy? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. We haven't seen him in trial in so long, right? It's actually kind of nice that we'll see him being more of a good boy in this trial. Ne? Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. His ham hands. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. I remember. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy. <laughs> some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. In f it's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. Yeah, we, we know. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes. We first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I've always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, she, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Guys, you're really on brand, aren't you? Do you have anything that's blue aside from that chest piece? It's a maroon knife. Also, what you doing with a giant knife, girl? What? What? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox of the trunk of the trunk. Oh, okay, that's fair. Of my car. Edgeworth's knife. Mm. Okay. Um, Edgeworth? What? 
Are you sure you didn't do it? Come on, can he take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Yeah, we do. Why are we being so mean? Okay. Uh, well, uh... I suppose that's it then, isn't it? Do we have a lunch we could give him? I guess not. Um... Well... Well, now what? Nah. Okay, let's just let's just go and see what happens. God, there's nothing to there's nothing, is there? How are we stuck already? Will she talk to us? No, she's not even there. Uh Um Oh, you know what? Let's try this. This is something I was thinking of doing and I didn't do it. Let's show Edgy the... this one. This. See, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright! Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, yeah, he'll take it. That's right. Here I'm thinking we're all frenzies, but we are technically on opposite sides, so I can't be just messing around with him. Oh, we can show Star, uh, Miss Star, right? <sighs> I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be found guilty. If she sighs any deeper, I'm gonna start getting depressed. Okay, okay, don't mind me, Edgy. Don't worry about it. You didn't see anything, okay? Let's go show this one. Show this one. What about this card? Lunchland vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady. Why? That's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. I always feel like I'm being mocked. What else do we show? What else do we do? You, yes? Hot tea, right? No, but thanks, she doesn't look at me. Okay. You must have to brew the leaves a long time to get rich flavor like this. We pre-infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it, so that's the secret to their aroma. Exquisite. The only thing I'm smelling here is wasted time. Oh! Wait, how do we... Here. Are we supposed to, like, zoom in and do sh shenanigans? And things? Uh... No, it looks pretty normal, right? Oh, here, look at the blood. This was in the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. That would be a lot of blood. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. Can't imagine that. Edgeworth in the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Now there's a scary thought. I can- if he was outside, he would be scared of everything. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, let's look at this then. Oh no, I didn't mean to- <laughs> I didn't mean to present, I just wanted to look. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, so... What do we got? It's H. Oh, what's this? Hey, check it out! There's a metal plate here. Hmm. Looks like the names of all the previous recipients are engraved on it. Wow, one guy's listed a bunch of times. Von Karma. Guess he must be a foreigner? Yeah, that's probably it. Well, whatever he's, wherever he's from, he must have had an amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. Go to jail and find him there. When she says it, his name does kind of have a ring to it. Um... I don't really know how that's gonna help us, but what else do we have? What's oh, a fist? A fist of justice, perhaps? But seriously, what else what else what else can we do here? We can't look at that. Well now what? Zoom out is J. Uh... Oh, we didn't check this. Let's check this, I suppose. A name and the ID number are written here. 
Sergeant Bruce Goodman. Okay, we know. I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else do they use? Letters, silly. They're the reason we have a written language in the first place. True. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID. Yabba dab. See? Wouldn't that be better? Yabba dab? Well, it does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point. Tee hee. Doesn't take much to amuse her. Okay. Let's look at the back. Uh, this way? Uh. What now? I feel like we're missing a, a freaking... Let me look at this. We're missing a... Uh, uh what's it called? Oh, it has a screw in the back. I guess where you pin it in? Why is it a screw? Let's look at it. So this is what the back of the badge looks like. And I always thought it had a safety pin. Me too. Each badge has a number carved into it. That way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? No, I'd be found out right away. Well, that's no fun. Okay, well... We must be missing something, right? But what? I had to look it up. <laughs> we have to present this to... To Eji. This one. So, basically, this says you were the best of the best last year, hmm? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why's that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. They would do this during work, whatever. The police department, I thought this was like an evening gala or something. I didn't think this was during the work day. Yes, right down next to the police station downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. So that moved a thing? Yeah, alright, there we go. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day. Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. What be your hands of old cases, in other words? Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on being on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Oh. God, it has your name on the parking stub? Wow. <laughs> okay. Edgeworth's parking stub. Okay. This is the parking stub for that underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um? This one! I, ba I barely remember you, but you are a little familiar. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth, what is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Um, Sky, sir? No, sir. This one looked like the postman from a Zelda, <laughs> kind of. They have similar energy. <laughs> no name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. Hmm? I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made clear requests to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. 
Sir, but sir, sir. I just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement. Give me your name. Uh, yes, uh, sir. Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Meekins is a cute name. Right, Officer Meekins. Take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. Mm. Oh, but sir, I didn't know. He has a little mamori, you see? He's holding it. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Ezra needs to learn how to socialize properly. You know, you could have more friends if you weren't so edgy, ne? Right. Yes, sir. Gah, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Baby, helping us. Okay, well, now we can go somewhere else. So that's, that's nice, right? Yeah, okay. <gasps> February 22nd, police department entrance. Look at, look at what's there. Look at what's there. Phew, we're finally here. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? Beats me. That took almost 30 minutes by taxi. Traffic wasn't even that bad. Okay. That feels important. The police department, huh? I've only ever been to criminal affairs next door. Mm hmm? Hold on, what's that? A cute abomination. It's so cute. Oh, it's moving. Disturbing! Why does it undulate like that? What is wrong with you? This is adorable. I love everything about this. Oh, it's not moving. Oh, nope, it's moving again. Oh, wait, I know. This is the blue badger. Yes. I told you it would come into play later. This is like the game's mascot, maybe. It's up there. They're trying to make him the police mascot. He's very cute. Wow, Mr. Wright, you sure know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. Hey, pal! What are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Um, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. You were just taking a five-minute break to dance with your friend over there? It's cute. I like that. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal. Can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect. She's Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister. Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just a sensitive issue with us these days. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh well, nothing, really. They kicked me out of a criminal of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? Then, what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone here before. Though only the highest ranked people are being let into criminal affairs now. Hmm. The lowest ranking guy there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? 
So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance, dance down pat. That's what you're gonna do with your time? Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? Like cleaning or something? We know you're good at it. The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall. Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. Hmm. A patrolman in charge of the crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. Do we have anything to show him? Well, hold on. I want to look at this. Uh, I was wondering about that. What? The dancing blue badger. It's my masterpiece. Oh, you made it! Oh, it's so delightful. I forgot Gumshoe made it. You made this, Detective Gumshoe? The chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. <laughs> nice work. I think it's pretty impressive. I couldn't make this thing move. I mean, he's a little smudged and a little handprint and, you know, maybe the paint job wasn't really well done, but it's impressive. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so I just... It just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. Poor Blue Badger. Fated to dance until he drops. A work of art. I like it. Okay. Usual wanted posters hanging up the on the bulletin board here. Do you know this face? If you do, dial 911. You know, Mr. Red, I've always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked like the people in these posters. They hardly even look human. She has a point. What else? The detectives and I look pretty busy. Just imagine right now, behind those doors, the police drama in action. Somehow, the thought fails to excite me. There's people outside. Patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. And then I said, hey, do you get that? You do, you do that. Your soup will get cold, buddy. That's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard I cried. I guess he wasn't saluting. He was wiping tears from his eyes. They make a good pair. What is this? Better here is announcing the crime fighting campaign. Nice slogan. I wonder if they'll be selling fingerprint sets. I don't think it's that kind of campaign. It's weird for police to have, like, campaigns, though, right? What family wouldn't want to set at home? It's good for finding out who snuck into the cookie jar! I think most families can figure that out without the extra help. So there's nothing else for us here? Mr. Wright, do you know why patrol cars are painted white and black? No idea why. Well, I think they're designed after a panda! I thought it would be a real thing, and it wasn't. A panda! Not that I have any scientific proof, just a theory. You might be asking how you came up with that theory. It was when I was on a school trip. I saw a patrol car and it came to me. We had just been to the zoo, see. What about zebras? Or do they not have those at your zoo? Uh, well... Mm. Oh, 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 oh. We can, we can check these, right? Miles Edgeworth, seven, uh, five, twelve. This is the date, dated the day of the crime. The murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. If only he was held up, at the cup, held up a couple extra red lights. He wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. It just goes to show you, you never know what'll happen when you run a yellow light! It feels like it's too much of a coincidence or something, you know? Here, let's look at this one then. Oh. We can't do anything. We just look at it. Um. Okay. So. So, so now what? Okay, I was kind of worried about it, but I guess it's fine. We can show him this. So, let's do that. Um, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is the detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to return it into the police. It's people like you that get me in so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. No, my mistake. 
Couldn't you work together with him at the Criminal Affairs? Whoa! Now I remember! Bruce Goodman? He's a victim! That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Oh. It's in here. Alright, there we go. So this ID card belonged to the victim. He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Where does Chief Prosecutor Sky call them out there? To the parking lot. Lana's confessing as much. Mm. Well... Are we good to go here? What the heck are we gonna do? Okay, hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the awards ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? You bet he was. Of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Oh, congratulations! I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, well, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. You forgot. Apparently he's forgot. But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Naysayers must be because of the rumors? Uh, what else? I'm gonna show him everything, because I don't know what else to do. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth, what could have happened? We have to find out a little bit more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Oh! <laughs> He's in a tough spot again. Again? Yeah, remember last year? It's only been a couple months since then. You know? Because that was Christmas, and now it's February, late February. Have we really not seen ed Edgy? I just, I don't know. I felt like after that case, we would be like going out to lunch and dates and, I don't know. We would be on diff different terms. I'm a little disappointed. Well, it all started out with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal, there have been always rumors about Mr. Edgeworth. Forging evidence and making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had an unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People are saying the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor's position himself. Oh, what? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Yeah, I think so too, because he, the way he talked about it, he wasn't like, hmm, like, Edgy isn't that kind of bad boy. We know who he is. He's a soft boy who's scared of heights and, and earthquakes and likes his tea. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We you met the guy who was... What was his name? The guy in the parking lot? That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall. Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West... From West LA! <laughs> Ah, is that, is that it? I can testify. Everyone from West Los Angeles is definitely a cowboy. Yep. Stupid. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little- I lost sound. Oh no. The West LA got me riled up. 
and I, I unplugged on accident. <laughs> Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Oh! What your introduction? Oh! Mom shoe! I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there, and nobody will look at you twice, pal. <laughs> okay. He, you know what? I like him. Gumshoe is a good boy. February 22nd, office, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. <coughs> Sorry. Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Oh, still here? Uh, hello. Why a surprise looks, didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in the criminal affairs too. What happened to the security guard? Boyfriends everywhere. Hey, what's wrong? That those two, these two could feel like they go all together though, eh? Their personality feels like they would get along. I don't know about security guard, but these two make sense. What's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its herd. Stop drinking, it's weird. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime. A cold grave for men who've lost their dreams. And me, I watch over them as they sleep. Dreaming of the desert's harsh judgment. He's asleep. Well, should we show this hopeless case something to catch his interest? There's something I wanted to ask you. Oh yeah, he won't talk to us at all. Okay, we have to just show him the thing first. Okay. Uh, 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 present this one. I didn't mean to check it, but sure, since we're here, why not? Look here! It looks like something's been crossed out. Maybe there's a letter or something to de de Detective Gumshoe. Let's see. Annual bonus, $20. Um, a couple, I think a couple zeros are missing. No, that sounds about right. At least in that detective's case. Maybe I should rethink my career as an investigator. <laughs> That's brutal. Although, I mean, at least he's in a... He's in a... At least he's in a, uh kind of workplace that gives you bonuses. A lot of places don't, right? Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? Oh, I warn you. Fan letters go... Go... Fan letters to me go right in the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. Maybe investigate? Gumshoe? That old cow dog? Hmm. He's holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Ah, I think he just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? No worries, this proves it's from Detective Gumshoe better than a blood test. Guess I'll, I better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Well, that's right, he's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me. Hey, wait a sec. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settler, strike for our lands unknown, manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot, nanny. Note self, police investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. Detective, okay, throw it away. Can we talk to you now? Like, for real? Can you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, could you be a little more specific? Bruce Goodman! He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doggy there now? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. The smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. One stabbed at the chest, a fine piece of work. This here's the autopsy report. Okay. Blood loss, one knife wound died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Okay. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Sky and Detective Goodman. Had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive. 
Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prospector. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here to this parking lot. So it seems. Like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. I don't mean any offense, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You calling me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoe detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. So wait, hold on. This just occurred to me. This whole game is supposed to be taking place in Los Angeles, right? Because if he's from West Los Angeles, then... You, you know what I mean? Then technically, this would have to be somewhere in LA. That is hilarious to me that this would be set in Los Angeles. <laughs> anyway, okay, uh, I was one of them fancy shoe detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's odd, though. Detective Dumshi was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? What are you implying? Edgeworth? That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle run by the order of the chief of police. Just, he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation. Uh, well, I want to slide over and look at stuff now that we can, like, do that. This appears to be the car where the body was found. Looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. The crime took place in the underground parking lot the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my Sparta's car. Okay. Hmm. Quite a luxury car. It screams I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. Okay. What's this? It looks like some sort of note. Look, something's written on it! It says Goodman. You're right. Let's see. 6, 7, S. Oh, it's supposed to be an S. 12, 2. There's a name printed on the paper above that. Goodman! He did fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so, what does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? Note to self, for detective reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what it means either. What's this? Looks like a cell phone. Ooh, an old one. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else who it would belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Check it out. Right, let's check it out. Oh, it's doing it for me. That was a little creepy. Um. Oh, 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 there. Do whatever you're trying to do. There you go, open. Hmm, this phone's still on the redial screen. Redial? Um, uh, Mr. Wright, the most phones keep a record of all calls you've made and received. You just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know with people from your generation. Whatever. Let's check this one out. Oh, is it doing it for- oh, no. Okay, let's hit the redial button. Can you imagine having a giant button for that? Now, to see who the owner of this phone call last. No, to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first. He just pushes the button. Hey! That song! I know that song! Do you know that song? I know that song. Hey, what's going on over there? Oh, sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed the redial on that their phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this, anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prospector Sky. What? It's my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. 
Except she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now, I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ring tunes. Oh, that? Oh. I'm sorry, that was my phone. What? Your phone? Yeah, uh, it's kind of strange, but... Someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. A wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Uh-oh. I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. Oh, here, let's talk to him. So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister? That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. <laughs> and the prospectors tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. My many condolences. Officer Marshall! Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You and my sister, you were... There's somebody between this cop and her sister I don't know about. I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's a-blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will, someone's up to something here, but who? Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forged evidence and arranging testimonies, you mean? He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. Mm -hmm. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambina. Chief Prospector Lana Skye. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't wrestle all those cattle in by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some had lo load them with deals. What, you're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we got some clues. We have an autopsy report that noted the victim and a cell phone. So you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothering me is that L Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma. Yes? I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? It's the Seal Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? <laughs> the phone that rang earlier wasn't mine. It was yours. At 8.15, just after the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? What did she say? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. Hmm. A detective is murdered and the suspect is a top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. We definitely don't know everything that went on here, but... We know something to have our first trial, I guess. So, uh, let's... You know what? I think this is going to be its own vote because I took forever. <laughs> I took forever. So I think we're going to we're gonna wrap up here. And next time we're going to do it and we'll see how far we get. I do know that this is a hefty one. I don't want to split it up like this for the whole thing. But I think at the beginning we might have to. So, yeah, let's wrap up. So that's going to do it for today. Hope you enjoyed. It wasn't as- I don't know what I was expecting. It's to be darker or something. It's not- it's not so bad. Um, it'll be fun that this next court trial will be back dueling it out with Edgeworth. I'm very excited about that, yes. So, uh, yeah! This- this one is the longest out of all of them. So, think of like the DL6 thing, but just a bit longer. But it's exciting, because I really- as far as the technicalities of all of this, I do not remember what's going on and who has done what and everything's very vague for me so yeah it'll be exciting to unfold the mysteries of this final chapter yeah so 
Until I see whatever I see in the next room, be kind to others, especially yourself. Take care, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.